With our world becoming increasingly digitized, it's not a surprise that every vendor wants to get a piece of that digital payment pie. So today I'll be showing you how to use ChasePay, which is a very new contender in this digital payment market. Since it's a really new system, Chase has been trying to incentivize this for a long time. So they've been giving out promotions like $15 restaurant credits with those restaurants that are compatible with Chase Pay with no minimum purchase at all and other crazy uh, promos like five three dollars off and and even during the Super Bowl weekend they were offering a deal where you get 20% off any restaurant purchase with Chase Pay. So needless to say I've gotten so much outsized value not only in getting restaurant discounts but also um, discounts off uh, my gas since you can use Chase Pay uh, to pay for gas at certain gas stations. But I think the reason why ChasePay hasn't really taken off is because there really isn't a really good guide out there anywhere, including on Chase's website, to really describe the process of using ChasePay. In fact, if you take a look at Chase's website right now, you'll see a bunch of merchants and then the different methods in which ChasePay needs to be used. There's like, you can use it online, you have to use a QR code, you can do it as an order ahead. There's just so many different ways to use ChasePay. So in this video, I'm going to break it down for you all. So the first thing you have to know is which cards are actually compatible with Chase Pay and not all cards are supported at this time but a good majority of Chase cards are. So obviously you got your regular Freedom cards, you got the Slate card, the Sapphire cards, as well as a couple airline cards and even the Starbucks card and the Disney cards. So there's definitely a fair amount of cards that are compatible with Chase Pay. So once you found out which cards that you own is compatible with Chase Pay. You got to go ahead and register it with Chase Pay. So what I had done in the past is I just log into my account on Chase.com and then I search at this search bar up here at the top, Chase Pay. And then you're going to want to click on the second link for profile and settings. That way you can add your card to be compatible with Chase Pay. So go ahead and click change settings. And then here you can see I have all three of my Chase cards already linked to Chase Pay. If it's not linked, you can go ahead and enroll it at this time and you can choose which card you want to make it as your primary card. And once you're officially enrolled, you can download the Chase Pay app on your device. I have it on my iPhone here. And then opening up the app, if you press the pay button, you can see uh, which cards you have available to use with Chase Pay. Now, just to give you a quick tour of the app itself, it's a little bit confusing if you don't really know what you're looking for. But basically, this allows you to use Chase Pay at different locations, but it also has some activity snapshots of your Chase accounts. So it would not only show the purchases that you made using Chase Pay, but also your latest purchases. And then here, if you press the manage side of things, you can see what cards you have, any rewards or offers that are loaded onto your account, and of course, the settings uh, if you needed to change some stuff basic stuff like that um, but if we go back to the main page here let's start with the find button on the opposite side so this here will pull up the list of merchants that uh, participate in the chase pay program so you can see up first is offers if you have any and then the order ahead ones are the ones that you can really easily place an order to certain restaurants right from your phone and then the nearby merchants ones are the other ones that you may have to use through the pay button if you remember that from the main page uh, either to purchase gas for instance at a shell gas station or to simply use the QR code that the Chase Pay app generates. So now that you have everything set up, you got your cards enrolled in the Chase Pay program, you've downloaded the app, you can now go ahead and start using Chase Pay and take advantage of those awesome promotions. So there are four main ways of using Chase Pay. There are some other nuanced ones where you can use it with Samsung Pay um, as shown here on the website. There's some little nuanced stuff. But I'm going to show you the four main ways that I've been using Chase Pay and I'm pretty sure that you can take advantage of uh, these offers this way as well. So the first one I'm going to show you is through online. So this is if you want to buy something online at a participating merchant you want to see how can you use Chase Pay to check out. So for instance, I'm going to go to Walmart here. I already have put in AirPods into my cart. Let's go ahead and go through the payment process. So as usual, the first few steps, like uh, if you have an account or not, and then who you want to ship it to, yada yada. And then finally, when you get to the payment methods section, this is where you need to click the more button to show uh, different options of paying. So you see there's the Chase Pay button right there. And then all you have to do now is just log in using your Chase account and then you'll be able to pay using Chase Pay. Simple as that. 
Another way of using ChasePay is the order ahead feature, which I think is the most useful because it simplifies the transaction process. So you just need to go into the ChasePay app, click on find and then order ahead. And when you switch over to the order side of the tab, you can see all the merchants that are participating in this order ahead feature. And you can select through their online menu basically right from the app. And you can go ahead and put together the order as you please and then just order it just like that. It even gives you an approximate time of when it will be ready so you know when to go ahead and start heading out to the merchant location to pick up your order. And now the next way I want to show you is via the QR code. This is for those merchants that don't participate in ordering ahead and it's not a gas station either. So this is the majority I would say that you would use Chase Pay for and this is probably the most frustrating way in my experience of using Chase Pay simply because most of the merchants that I've encountered don't even realize that they are able to accept Chase Pay. So this is where uh, this part of the guide really comes in handy. So when you go to a merchant that doesn't order ahead and only accepts via QR code, you want to check if they have this little square-like scanner, which is usually a level up scanner, or even sometimes they actually do have a Chase Pay logo on it for the scanner. So most of the time I would say you will see this level up scanner though. So when you have finished ordering and you're ready to pay, this is when you press the pay button from the Chase Pay app and then make sure the card that you want to pay with is selected and then go ahead and pull it up to uh, pay with that QR code and then you have to go ahead and put it up to the scanner and wait for the scanner to turn a dark blue color, that little light around the rim. And then the merchant at this point would just press a little button to take a picture basically of that QR code. It goes through the system and then once the systems assess the payment, you're all good to go as if you had paid with any other payment method. Now, like I mentioned before, this is probably the most frustrating way to use Chase Pay just because the merchant doesn't really know what they're doing at this time. And here are just some common problems that I encounter when I have to pay using the QR code. The first of which, like I said before, is the merchant doesn't know how to use Chase Pay. They just know that, oh, that we have a level up scanner. You need to use it with the level up app. But that's not really true. What you need to do is just keep on insisting that it actually does work and you tell them that, oh, I have definitely used this with Chase Pay in the past and they're more likely to put up with you as a stubborn paying customer. And then a second thing that I have encountered is that the scanner doesn't turn this dark blue even though you put the QR code up to the scanner. So what I've been doing is to make sure that the, my phone is about maybe five to six inches away from the scanner so that the scanner is able to take in the whole QR code. And also sometimes your phone may drop a Wi-Fi signal, a cellular signal, you want to make sure that your phone is always connected to Wi-Fi. And then you also want to make sure that you can refresh the QR code if you think that QR code is not working properly. And usually that does the trick. After maybe five minutes of doing this, you'll get used to this. And then when you come back to the same merchant, they'll most likely remember you so you don't really have to worry about uh, doing this again. And finally, you can use Chase Pay to pay for gas, of course, at participating locations. And so far, to my understanding, only Shell and 76 are available to be used with Chase Pay. And I always use it with Shell just because they also have this fuel rewards program that you can link um, very easily. So to do so, you would just go to your account management page and you see your cards and actually at the very bottom there's like a reward memberships right here at the bottom and that's where you put in your number to link your fuel rewards account so it can be used every time you fill up at Shell. The fuel rewards program is free and it's really easy to join so I definitely recommend just signing up. So anyways, how you use Chase Pay to pay for gas at Shell is you press this pay button right here and then ideally you would of course be at the gas station already and you just need to make a note of which uh, number gas pump you're at. And here is where you go ahead and put in that information and then it will spit out a three digit number that you have to input on the gas pumps keypad. Once you do so, the payment's already processed through, so you don't need to worry about swiping your card or anything, and you don't need to worry about uh, entering your fuel rewards number either, so it's pretty seamless like this, and then you just fill up as you would normally just after that. And there you have it, this is a complete guide 
very comprehensive on how to use Chase Pay, at least in 2019. It might change a little bit in the future. I do hope that Chase will streamline this process so it's not so awkward and definitely educate their merchants that are compatible with Chase Pay. Um, but otherwise, I would definitely start using Chase Pay so you can take advantage of those promotions that I mentioned earlier. If you found this video helpful, I really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel for more tutorial videos like this and also product reviews and unboxings.